Okay, so we're here at the Royal Court, which is looking very good at the minute. We'll tell you more about that in just a second. But right now, behind me, uh, rehearsals for Brick Up the Mezzy Tunnel are on. Over 150,000 people have seen this show, Ian. That's right. Six time on. Six time on. And Ten most years successful since it comedy show is of yeah, all time yeah. in most, Liverpool? Most successful comedy wow. show we've ever had here. Um, 150,000 people can't be wrong. <laughs> I've seen the tagline. <laughs> no, we, we, this is the one that sort of started us off because when we first took the Royal Court over, um, we ran it as a comedy club and then we thought we'd chance around with a play. So we chose Brook Up the Mersey Tunnels uh, by Nicky and Dave, who wrote mm. it. Great script. And we put it together. Great set design, great cast. Off it goes. And it's sold like crazy. So we thought, well, we'll try another play, and another one, and another one, another one. So this is what started all them big shows that you put on here? Pretty much. Everything that's followed on from there, the big Scouse comedies, the mm. musicals that we do, came about because we took a chance doing this play, Brick Up the Mersey Tunnels, and the audience responded so well. I mean, I still remember the first time that we did it, um, our box office had um, two computers and one phone in it. And by the end of the run, I was running backwards and forwards to Curry's, getting laptops, and, really? wow. and like we were plugging phones into any available socket. Just what what is it? What, what makes the show so good and, and so successful? I think it's a couple of things. One is people connect with it. So you look at all the characters, and they're caricatures, but everybody knows uh, Dickie Lewis, everybody knows an Ant Swacky. Mm. You know, you recognise them as soon as they walk on stage. Loads of comedy in it, and people always walk out with a massive smile on their mm. face, and then they go into work the next morning, and people say... What did you do last night? I went to see Brickle the Maze Tunnel. It's the funniest thing you've ever seen. Go and buy a ticket. And the phones ring and yeah. the people come in. And that's it's great. But well, what a great way to start your theatre experience, if you like, as well, by coming to see a show like this. Normally, if you think of theatre, oh, it's not my thing going to theatre, but I think this is kind of everyone's cup of tea. Yeah, we, we have quite a lot of people saying nice things about the Royal Court. Like, I don't go to the theatre, but I do go to the Royal Court. Yeah. And we have people saying, you know, don't have to wear a tie. It's like, no, you don't have to wear a tie. You know, you come into this room and you can sit down, you can have a meal, you can have a drink at your table, mm. and we'll make you laugh, we'll entertain you on stage. And all of the shows that we do, you'll either come out crying, laughing, or singing songs from the mm. show, or something like that. You very rarely see people leaving the Royal Court, sort of gently stroking their chin, going, yeah, it really yeah. spoke to me, yeah. it spoke to me, I, th I thought about that. I don't think I've ever seen that, anyone <laughs> leaving the Royal Court saying that. What I love about this place is, as you say, sitting along the table, even if you're just having a drink, or if you are getting some food, which, which is lovely here, yeah. it just adds that extra element, doesn't it? Well, it makes more of an experience for, for, for whoever's enjoying it. it. It comes from when we used to run comedy clubs, and we had the principle at the comedy clubs that even if people hated the comedy, mm. we wanted them to have a good night out. And it's the same with the, the theatre. If you come here and the staff are really friendly, so you're walking through the door, the staff will be looking after you, you sit down, nice seats, you have a nice meal, good service at the bar, nice drinks, mm. and then the show starts. And so it means that by the time the show starts, you're in a great mood, you've been chatting to your mates, you're, you're, you're well fed, you're well watered, and then the show starts. And the show's, I mean, the shows are great anyway, but even if you don't enjoy the show, you've had a great night out yeah. before you start. And you're probably a bit tipsy as well, well that's always good, it's always good. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the refair because I walked in before and I couldn't quite believe how good it's looking because yeah. it's, it's kind of been a bit of a building site for the past couple of months. Yeah. Um, and we're based just opposite that, so we've been hearing the noises and, and seeing how it's been looking. It looks amazing. Oh, well, Absolutely amazing. Absolutely made up with it. Um, the Royal Court Trust raised a lot of money, uh, £2.8 million pounds being spent on the... Um, on this bit of the refurb. We spent about a million quid doing the auditorium a couple of years ago, and uh, this is the next phase that we've just finished. Um, Melwood Construction have done a really good job. We we kind of thought it might take about six months, it took about nine months. We're still finishing bits and bobs off. But the overall effect, when they took the boards down and that extension was built, the new box offices in, the new bars for the circle, it's stunning. It's yeah. absolutely stunning. And we've got audiences coming in and just walking around with a the jaws down going oh, but what happens to the old Royal Court yeah. it's amazing but not, not that it's never it's never been a real theatre it looks like a real theatre now it could be in the middle yeah. of Broadway or anything out there <laughs> it does it looks great well we, this place was built in 1938 mm -hmm. and when it was first opened it was a great historic building great theatre but I don't think any money's been spent on it since, since 1938 wow. so it needed a lot of uh, a lot of tender love and care a lot of work we've been very sympathetic to the original designs the mm -hmm. architects have been great with that Um and we've ended up with something that looks fantastic. And it means that we can look after the audience better. And uh, there's still more to come. We've got mm. um, Act 3 of the um, 
the building works being prepared and we're fundraising for that at the moment. And so that's, the, that's going to be the, the higher level, isn't it? It's going to be the balcony, balcony bars. We're looking at um, creating a new performance space down in the basement and we'll spend a few quid backstage. They've been they've been asking for us to spend a few quid the last few years. So well, we'll Suzanne Collins' uh, rider list and Andrew Schofield and that <laughs> gets bigger by the performance, Cleans us out. I'm sure. Cleans yeah, us out. I bet yeah. it does, I bet it does. Uh, just finally, going back to Brick Up, it's on until March. Why should we come and see this play? Um, because you'll have a funny night out, a great night out, um, and if you don't come and see it, then you will have no one to talk to because 150,000 people have seen it and you don't want to be the one in the corner exactly. not knowing what they're on about. It's a good point. It's a good point. And be watching the guy at Liverpool on Bay TV next Thursday. We're going to get on stage with the actors and get all the goss. So we'll see you then. Ian, thank you, mate, and good luck. Cheers, Jay.